It's time now to do our empirical determination of a hydrate lab. And we'll put some sample data here and uh, see how we calculate that. So let's say we are going to record the mass of our crucible. And we put on the electronic balance to get 19.86 grams. And then the directions say add 2 grams of magnesium sulfate to that crucible. Now you may not get exactly 2 grams, so let's say you've got 2.02 grams. So it's within tolerance. We're supposed to get 2 grams. We're at 200 off. That's fine. And then what we do is we add those two masses together to get the total mass of the crucible. And that would be 21.88 grams. Just adding those two numbers together. <laughs> then, of course, we have our lab set up here, our Bunsen burner, our crucible. And uh, this time we won't have the lid. And we'll just heat it, and we're going to drive that water off. You know, dry, take about 10 minutes or so to do it, 10, 15 minutes. And then we're going to let it cool, and we're going to record the final mass of that. And let's say that's 20.85 grams. Okay, so we see that the mass has now decreased because we've driven the water off out of that crystal. To calculate the change in mass, we're going to take our beginning mass here in step 3 and subtract our final mass here in step 6. So we'll take 21.88 minus 20.85. And that gives us 1.03 grams. Now that change is actually grams of water, so I'm going to write H2O next to that. So that I already know what's going on there. Okay, so that's you know quite a bit of water. It's about a little bit more than 50% of the crystal was water. Let's continue our calculation then. All right, so the difference you calculate in step 7 is the amount of water that has been boiled out determine the number of moles. So let me write that again over here. I've got 1.03 grams. That's just a reminder. Now water, of course, the formula H2O. We need to get the molar mass of that. So it's two hydrogens plus one oxygen. And uh, we know that hydrogen has an atomic mass of one. So I'll take two times 1.0 plus, and the mass of oxygen is 16. And that gives us 18.0 grams for the molar mass of water. What we need to do is take that 1.03, and then we're going to divide that by the 18.0. Because if we've got grams, which is a mass, we divide by molar mass in order to get into moles. And that is 0.0574 moles. So 0 0.0. Five, seven, four moles. Now we're going to uh, save that for later. Okay. Next part says determine the grams of magnesium sulfate that were left without water. Take step six, okay, minus step one. Well, step six, if we go back, okay, is 20.85 grams. And step one, is 19.86 grams. So we're taking the final mass of the crucible, and what's left there is magnesium sulfate without water. And that's our empty crucible. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take then the final mass, 20.85, and we're going to subtract uh, the empty mass, 19.86. And that gives us 0.99 grams. Now that 0.99 grams is, again, magnesium sulfate without water. So we need to write the formula for magnesium sulfate and get its molar mass so we can convert that into moles. Well, let's go ahead and do that. If you find magnesium on the periodic table, it's going to be Mg plus 2. You'll need to find sulfate on your polyatomic ion table. And that is SO4 minus 2. 
and uh, those two are the same charges, so we don't need to crisscross the charges. It's just MgSO4. I suppose I could write that there, but I won't. So that's our formula, MgSO4. So let's determine its molar mass. Well, it's one magnesium plus one sulfur plus four oxygens. Okay, again, we'll find these all in the periodic table. The atomic mass of magnesium is 24.3 plus sulfur is 32.1 plus 4 times 16.0. And that gives us a mass of 120.4 grams. So 120.4 grams. Now determine the number of moles of magnesium sulfate in step 9. But again, we've got a mass, 0.99 grams. We need to divide this by molar mass, 120.4 grams. So again, if you use your triangles and your formulas, you take mass divided by molar mass to get it in the moles. And that answer is 0.00822 moles. Our final two steps are we need to determine what's called the mole ratio. We need to take our moles of water divided by the moles of magnesium sulfate. So that's step 8 uh, divided by uh, step 9 here, or step 11. So we're going to do 0 0.0574 divided by 0 0.00822. And that number is uh, 6.98. Now then, what we're going to do is we're going to round this to the nearest whole number. So 6.98 rounds to 7. So what that means is there's 7 times the amount of water for every one amount of magnesium sulfate. So what's the formula for our hydrate? It's going to be MgSO4, which is the symbols for our compound. Then I'm going to use a dot. The dot represents coordination. There are seven water molecules coordinated with the crystal. And we were able to determine that using the mole concept. And that is how moles become useful for us when we're dealing with uh, empirical formulas.